Hey, what is going on guys? It's me, Quinkin, and welcome to episode number three of my Atletico Madrid career mode. The support on these videos have been insane, so keep on doing that. If we could get over 100 likes on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm putting a lot of effort into these, and I would really like to see a lot of feedback from you guys. So leave a like, favorite, and comment down below. But in the previous episode, I asked you guys to go vote on which winger I should get. If I should get this guy right here, Oliver Torres, and pay under a million dollars or if I should go and get Anwar El Ghazi from Ajax and pay over six million and I want to thank everyone who voted in the straw poll you guys voted for Oliver Torres so he is going to be joining our club and he's only going to be costing us six hundred sixty thousand dollars to recall from FC Porto so we get the email from FC Porto that he has left to Spain so here he is let's take a look at his stats so overall, this kid looks like he would be a very good replacement for Arda Turan. He has very good vision, he has decent acceleration, but this is what I'm really looking at. He has very good dribbling and passing, he has a decent long passing stat, and his short passing stat is a 83, so I'm really happy that he is going to be joining our squad. And he has 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot, so I can really use him on the wings. and. This guy's going to be a beast for our career mode. He doesn't have that much pace, but he does make it up with his passing and his dribbling. And yes, our first league game is going to be versus Real Madrid. It's going to be our third match of the season, but our first game in the league. And we're going to be facing Real Madrid, who we couldn't beat either in the first leg or the second leg of the Super Spanish Cup and I decided to make some switches into my squad. This was going to be the third time in one month that we faced him so I moved Sergi to the right, I took out Coca and put Raul Garcia as a striker to see how that would fit out and we took out Mario Suarez and put in Fernando in the substitutes because Mario Suarez is a replacement for Gabi and I wanted Gabi to play the full 90 minutes so I put in Fernando who could come in for Verratti. So Real Madrid was coming with a 4-3-3, the same squad they had in the first leg and that was a very tough game but here we go, Tony Kroos with the shot, it hits off the post and thank god that happened, the post saves us, Verratti steals the ball from Pepe, he gives a beautiful pass to Raul Garcia and this was such a good idea for me to put Raul Garcia as a second striker, he scores to make it 1-0 and when it looked like Real Madrid were going to be the team to go up we score to make it 1-0 but that doesn't stop there Kadira with a beautiful shot but it just went wide and yes we do pick up another injury Arda Turan he bruised his shoulder so we had to take him out and it was going to be the debut of Oliver Torres let's see what he can do for Atletico Madrid but Real Madrid once again was on the attack Kadira was getting so many shots on target but he just couldn't put him in back of the net and thank god he wasn't because that would have been three easy goals but we were up 1-0 and I did decide to take out Verratti and put in Fernando I wanted to have a more pacier center defensive midfielder that had better passing so I put in Fernando and that really did work out for us he was playing so well for us in the midfield and Alessio Cerchi actually gives an assist to Mario Mandzukic who makes a beautiful goal versus Real Madrid and we did make it 2-0 but it doesn't end there we are on the attack once again Mandzukic with the opportunity but Casillas keeps the shot and we do take out Alexandra and put in Ansaldi I wanted a player that can be more defensive and I really wanted to keep this clean sheet but he would go with Cristiano Ronaldo a beautiful pass to Benzema and Benzema curls it into the back of the net and he made it 2-1 so we don't keep the clean sheet but in the end we do beat Real Madrid and it feels so good because we lost the Super Spanish Cup to them and they humiliated us we lost it in our soil <laughs> and we get three very important points now we do get an email that Arda Turan is going to be out for 9 days so I had to switch out the squad because we are going to have a game versus Rayo Vallecano so I move Koke to the left, I move Sergi to the right and I bring Raul Garcia to the striking position and I put in Aquino from the reserves into the substitutes but what do you guys think about Raul Garcia? It was such a great idea to put him in the game versus Real Madrid. He scored the first goal and it was a fantastic goal. I don't know what happened. He had such incredible pace and the shot was so precise and Alessio Cerchi he had such an amazing game and he gave an assist to Mandzukic. Mandzukic with a beautiful goal and we did beat Real Madrid but 
we do get the news that Antoine Griezmann is back from injury. So Arda Turan is going to be out for nine days, but Antoine Griezmann comes back but I'm not going to be playing him in the next game because I still want him to recover if I do put him to play too early he will get injured even more so I will keep him on the reserves for now and we take a look at the other fixtures that happened in the first week and Barcelona struggled to beat Elche 1-0 Athletic Bilbao lost to Malaga and Valencia beat Sevilla that was such a big game and Valencia do come out on top but since we have a game midweek, it was time to rotate the squad. We take out Mandzukic and we put in Raul Jimenez who hasn't been playing that much so I decided to put him in for today. We also take out Miranda and put in Congolo who overall is a beast and I can't wait to use him in this game versus Rayo Vallecano. But we also decided to take out Juanfran and put in Jesus Gomez. These two are kind of alike but Juanfran does have more pace. But Jesus Gomez is overall a very good defensive right back. But we also take out Verratti and we put in Fernando who played very well versus Real Madrid. And we keep the 4-4-2 formation. So Fernando in for Verratti. And this is a decent side that we're putting in front of Rayo Vallecano. And if you guys don't know, Rayo Vallecano is actually a decent team in La Liga. They're one of the smaller teams that really do take away a lot of points from the big clubs like Atletico Madrid. So we really had to watch our back in this game but in less than 10 minutes they get two very good attempts and Moya with the beautiful saves this guy was such a good signing for Atletico Madrid I'm so happy they got him because he got Moya and Yano block but Raul Jimenez gives a beautiful pass to Raul Garcia and he does not score the goal what is going on Raul Garcia you score a beautiful goal versus Real Madrid but you can't score versus Rayo Vallecano it was still nil nil and I had to change things up the 4-4-2 wasn't allowing me to do that much so I switch it to a 4-3-3 I move Sechi to the right Koke on the left Mandzukic as the lone striker and hopefully this 4-3-3 does work out but Raul Garcia with a very very good skill of dribbling here and he does make it 1-0 and this was the goal we were looking for the whole entire match. And we do decide to take out Coca and put in Oliver Torres, who had a decent game versus Real Madrid. And we put in Ansaldi for Alexander, who played the previous game, and I didn't want him to be too tired. But before I could make these substitutions, Rayo Vallecano make it 1-1. And I don't know what was going on with my defense. We concede another goal, and we tie the game 1-1. They get another chance, but Moya actually saved that shot. So... If it wasn't for Moya, we would have conceded more goals, but damn, we do tie the game versus Ari Vallecano. After beating Real Madrid, I would expect to win this game, but we do get the clear for Antoine Griezmann. He says that he's okay to play, so we put him back into the squad, and hopefully Arda Turan can come back as soon as possible. But this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Quinkin, and I'll see you guys next time.